Hi there, signs of Libra. This is Kim here to do your reading for your next 48 hours. So I'm going to use Modern Witch Tarot deck and um, we'll clarify. I've also got the Kipler fortune telling deck here just for some extra messages maybe on the side or for in something in the um, tarot reading. So let's see. Asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us. These messages are meant to resonate for your highest good. Um, and I have private readings available if you're interested in that. Libras, okay. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacle in the reverse. Hmm. Ace of Pentacle in the reverse. Well, we will see. We shall see. Maybe we won't see. Maybe we won't know something quite yet. What? The moon. That's nice. Two for the outcome. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's in regards to an investment of some sort. Um, you have the Nine of Cups here in the past energy, which is kind of feeling um, comfortable. And it, it, you could say it's the wish is granted, but it's just being able to really choose from whatever it is that you need or you're wanting. Um, it's being, you know, you're extremely uh, fortunate when you have the Nine of Cups. Um, to be satisfied, like on a spiritual level and material level. The moon is the issue, so that's what's unknown. And I, I do look at the moon as changes, but the hidden blessings are things that I like to focus on. The wheel of fortune being in the challenge, um, to me, is like, uh, yeah, your, your challenge is to notice, like, the hidden blessings or to find them. Um, whether you found them or not, the... The moon can guide you a little bit at a time, and maybe we're challenged to um, see this as something good coming our way. Find the opportunity. That's almost what that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is looking like. It's like there is an opportunity. You have to find it. The Ten of Cups in the reverse is at the heart of the matter. So there's, you know, when I see that, I think, well, there's there's something missing or it feels like there's something missing to uh, complete happiness. Like, not just your happiness, but everyone's happiness around, like making everybody happy here. Um, Ace of Swords is, is in the environment. And then you have the devil energy crowning you. So there could be just like a really big emphasis right, right now on the material realm. It could be tempting you to. Um, you could be indulging in things that are maybe, uh, you know, not so great for us. Addictions and vices. Um, it can be just kind of a warning for that. Or it can be the truth and the clarity and the strategy that you're going to need if you're focused on finding an opportunity in the material realm. Something like that. The tower in the reverse is rebuilding. Rebuilding what, what you know, fell. Rebuilding it. Death card, how you're feeling. That's interesting. That was, um, who was that? Pisces. Yeah, that was Pisces. Um, card was in that position. The same card. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Um, strength and confidence. So it's major change and transformation. You may be feeling that. And I definitely think that's meant to go to bridge those two. So I have to have strength and confidence in the unknown that there is something worth looking for in the unknown. And, and, and good luck will follow too. Let me get some clarity on the Ten of Cups in reverse. The King of Wands, too. Um, something is missing. And maybe it's something that you, you're working on building. And it's somewhat of a success right now. 
a look at that as that. I mean, it can be somewhat of a success. King of Wands, inspirational, knows how to build, knows how to make things. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. So it's like big change that's going to be um, self-initiated. It involves having strength and confidence to face um, maybe a major transformation or maybe an ending that ultimately will have a new dawn, a, a, like a new dawn. The Knight of Swords is kind of like a seize the day the clarity for you to seize the day or to swoop in and get what you're wanting. Um, it's a good card. The Knight of Swords is a good card. It's fast moving change. So you have the, the moon that's associated with change, but it's also associated with some kind of hidden blessings here. Um, and especially in this reading in particular, something, um, fortunate, and in the environment, it's the information to go after what you're wanting. So, the tower. The tower in reverse. The world. A completion. A completion or a new chapter. Possibly that involves a rebuilding. Um, the Empress on the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Cups, two behind that. Um, a new chapter, and there's lots of different things to see and choose. Eight of Wands is good news. It's what you're thinking of. You're thinking of the good news that will come in. Good. Knight of Wands, this could be what you consider like your twin flame energy or somebody that's just here for this chapter coming up. Maybe they've been in and out of your life. But the Knight of Wands is a really good card for movement. And so is the Eight of Wands. So both of those going fast um, forward. Tell me about Page of Cups. The Nine of Swords in reverse. It, you finally found a solution to a not so helpful situation. Um, what are the possibilities? What other possibilities? Well... I think you need to be able to open up to possibilities and know that um, like you shouldn't feel guilty for wanting to get out of whatever kind of restrictions your own mind is putting on you and open up to more possibilities by freeing your mind and, and um, yeah, Ex the, the pathway to get there. <clears throat> Tell me about two of ones. Maybe also uh, an issue with focus or needing to focus. Soulmate or soul connections with the um, Six of Cups. Wow. That's a strong energy. That's soulmate energy. So your networking, your connections, your soul family. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. There's something here that feels like, um, the, okay, well, and there's 8-8. Eight, eight. So something that didn't get moving or that was that you feel wasn't a genuine offer, that's why it's not a, a possibility for you as like a solution. You do have good news regarding your wish granted and it's attached to the moon. So Maybe that's also saying that intuitively that something is coming that you that you know or you feel. It's really passionate energy that gets you moving. Where something may have not not um, been moving for a while. So tell me more about the new chapter. Oh God, jeez, the ten of the ten of swords, the new chapter, because. Of walking away from a really hard um, event. It may be a new chapter after attempting to rebuild here. Um, but completely being done with things that feel like a betrayal. Or completely being done walking away from whatever was a hurtful ending. And it has something to do with that tower in reverse. Jeez. Anything else? And then we're going to get this. 
fortune telling that it should be interesting. Fixing, look, see, good news, the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacle in the reverse is, um, it's to me, it's it's like fig figuring out what's up with these connections. Um, when are you going to get the good news? Oh, give me something from the Kipler deck. False person, number eight. False person. Interesting. Twenty-five, high honor, high honor. And number nine, change. Open up to change. Family room on the bottom of the deck. So there's something about being open to change, high honor. I don't know. That might be something like truly um, military might be. And it might be associated with this change. Maybe he's talking about change in rank or something. Yes. I have a yes. And I have listened to your intuition. So again, trusting that path that is uh, a little bit unknown. So trusting that. Let's get the Lover's Oracle 2. Reflection. Okay. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of focusing on another, now is your time to give to yourself. And power, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. And to Life Coaching Oracle, let's see what it wants to give. Mentor 75, you are about to meet a person of high integrity or honor who will guide you in the right direction. Uh, 13, judgment, you're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. 39, you have the magic touch, you are accessing true magic from deep within. And 22, creative projects. It's time to get things done and make your creative projects the priority at this time. Make your creative projects a priority at this time. Okay. And last but not least, no, it's not completely last. We're going to use the, um, the fairy dust too after this. So, Moonology Manifestation Deck. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. It's too many. New moon in Leo, shine. And full moon in Virgo, take inspired action. Take inspired action. That's interesting. I'm thinking that Pisces also maybe have that. Reveal what needs to be seen. Uh, last quarter moon in Scorpio. Okay, and then some fairy dust, and we'll close out this reading. I do have private readings available if you're wanting something a little bit more tailored to you. Shake it off. If you fall in others' cheer, just shake it off and walk with cheer. And be strong. When trouble seems to be brewing near, your inner strength will help keep you clear. So that's what I got for you, Libra. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.